from my great challenge .blogspot.com and today is part four, part four of my great staircase makeover. If you didn't see part one, two or three, the links are down below. I left you off last week having painted the entire cathedral ceiling. I'm going to give you a quick review of what I did. I'm not going to show you the bedroom right now because it's a big mess. And then there was one little incident that I had to repair and I'm going to talk about that right now. So here's the staircase. If you remember, I painted all of this in Summerfield by Bear, right? And then here's the stairs. I'm moving some stuff here. You'll need to see. And then I did there's some clothes here. Don't worry about that. Um, so all of this got painted. We moved my uh, husband's big armoire that was right here. But anyway, I'm just repeating myself. All of this is in the part three video. And the incident I wanted to talk about was this one right here. There was a board that broke. Yep. Um, with the ladder. And I didn't talk about it last week because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to repair it. So what happened is that um, the piece of wood that's underneath here was kind of very, very old and this ladder's foot right here kind of like pushed it in and this whole part from the step broke, literally broke and caved in. So I figured, you know what, maybe I can bring it back up and then put some glue or a putty and then I said, now, nah, you know what, let me just repair it. So all I did really was go to Home Depot and get a piece of oak thread, which is basically the same thing than this with the uh, rounded part, but cut it along the edges so that I would have just the flat on either side and then measured the piece I needed to replace it with. I put another piece of wood underneath it, right, to kind of like support it. So I didn't replace the old one, I just kind of cut where the old one was here and here and then I put the new one from here all the way up to here right if that makes sense and then I just um, toenailed it which is sideways and an angle here and here and then there's some nails over there as well so it works pretty good I still have to sand it. If you can tell, there's a little bit of a, it's one eighth of an inch here. So I have to sand this part, but my biggest issue with it is that it's not the same color. So I have to figure out a way to make this the same color than this before I stain it with my Minwax. And I think the best way to do that is either do a tea dye or maybe a coffee grain dye. I'm not sure. I have to do some research on it. But I'm not doing that today. Today I am painting with the green color. So the green is going to go over here on this side right here. That same side continues right here on the edges of the steps and stops over here. And then this part right here has to be done in green as well. And then this is green and I'm doing green all the way around right here before you get to my bedroom. So first I want to apologize if the color doesn't show as much as I would want to because it is 3.30 in the afternoon. I did some cleaning and didn't get a chance to do that yet. But if you recall, this is the fabric I'm using for the curtains and this is the green I've picked to go with it. So again, I have the yellow all the way on top I have the green at the bottom and I'm doing a banana cream color in the middle. Um, I'm going to start with the side right here when you walk in from, you know, the door and start the steps because that's probably the easiest for me. And I don't think, nah, it doesn't look like I'm going to need a ladder today, which is a good thing. And I'm not reinventing the wheel here. I'm doing exactly the same thing I did last week. I'm going to do two coats of the green before I do my roll and I'm not happy with this brush I'm probably what well, if I do two coats that should be fine I think it's because I'm on the other oh I really like this green but the brush is not that great I think I have to go and clean my other brush let me see if it works better on the uh... I don't know I'm definitely going to have to do several coats of this. This one, for some reason, 
doesn't appear to have primer in it. So I might have to do two or three coats. All right, so let me do all the corners. I'm doing all of the corners first. I'm doing them twice. Looks like I'm gonna have to do them three times. And once that's done, I'll start with the rollers. I always do the corners several times first, that way they're done and I just have to do the rollers. It's easier for me, instead of doing one coat of corner, one coat of roller, one coat of corner, one coat of roller. I don't know if that makes sense. I've always done it this way, it works for me. Um, I'm not sure if that's the professional way of doing it, but it's fine with me, it works, so whatever. All right, let me get going. And again, I don't have to worry too much about stains or mistakes on this color right here, on the white because I did not paint it yet. That's coming up last. I'll do the trim last and that's when I'm going to use the um, frog tape or the painter's tape. And I'm just doing the best I can to stay straight. But I think I mentioned that before that I'm actually pretty steady when it comes to painting. I'm just going to show you how I'm doing this. I'm just taking the edges of the brush and just following the corner like that. And I just fill in. I'm definitely going to have to do two coats, maybe three, because this paint is actually not covering very good. It's funny because the yellow covered really, really well. I almost didn't need a second coat. That's it. Okay. So sure enough, as I was ready to do the uh, edges here, I realized that I forgot to patch this area right here. So I think I have enough time to put some new um, plaster on. I'm just using spatula and I'm just going to press it in. Because what I'm going to do is try to smooth it out as much as I can before I can paint. Probably gonna have to sand it a little bit. So that's gonna allow me to finish the corners in green, right? And then if I have time, I'll sand this just a tiny bit. Hopefully it will work. I just want to patch it, make it a little bit more even. Do probably a better job if I was redoing that piece of sheet rock, but I'm not gonna do that. One, I don't know how to do it, and two, I don't see the need for it. It's just a corner up the stairs. So I have a big hole right here. Alright, so let me see what kind of a mess I can make here because this is really not my forte plaster. I just want it smooth. Remember this is going to be sanded. I'll try to do the corner right here. Alright, and do this and try to round it just slightly. Here we go. I right, do the bottom part of it. I'm just going to press the plaster in and smooth up. I 
do the same thing here, press and smooth up. more good got the same problem right here messed it up. Don't use your fingers. Remember that I get sanded, alright? If it's not perfect right now, that's fine. I'm gonna smooth it out with the sanding paper later on. I'm totally not happy with this green at all. I hate it. I don't like this green. There's too much yellow in it. I don't know. And for some reason, and I don't know if it's this particular paint from Bear, because usually I have no problem with Bear, but this one. I'm on coat number two and all I'm doing is spreading the paint and I can still see the one underneath and this primer in it, it doesn't make any sense. So if I show you the corner right here, can you see? For some reason, like the paint just doesn't stick. So maybe it's, I don't know, maybe they have a different paint in the corner I am from before I don't know all I know is that this used to be wallpaper and they painted over wallpaper so I wouldn't pass it by them if there was some kind of like glue or something in the corner where the paint just doesn't stick but let me show you where I'm at so far I did two coats of the green in the corners and this is what it looks like with just one coat with the yellow I don't know if you can tell because I have tools and stuff so I did two coats all around here and on the base and here and over here, right? This plaster here is still curing. So in case I'm the green is taking longer than the yellow to dry, which is a possibility. Look, see, two coats and I'm still having streaks. Not happy. I'm not finishing this today. That's a given. Um, all right, so I'm going to let it cure for a good 45 minutes and then I'm going to go over with third time and we're going to see if it's going to make a difference. Um, I'm hoping, um, I'm just realizing the light is above me and I look horrible. There you go, much better. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let it cure for 45 minutes and then I'll come back, um, do a third coat. I'm probably going to do the roller tomorrow because otherwise, you know, I'll be here until midnight. So. Yeah, and tomorrow's Sunday I got time. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so three times is the charm. It's finally covered. I'm ready to roll on. Maybe I'll like it more <laughs> once I don't see the very apparent contrast between the old beige and the green. And I can tell you right now, obviously two coats will be needed. And the walls are not even. So you see what it does? Can you tell? Right? So let me do this and then the whole area over here and then we'll look at the results. Ok, 
okay I did one coat and I did everything except the one wall here because of the plaster but this is what it looks like I almost missed my step this is what it looks like with one coat I like it better I'm still not crazy about it but I like it better just go back see don't mind the mess on the steps right and then this side is green and this side is yellow. I kind of like the transition right here. Um, I don't know, what do you think? Do you like the green? Tell me down below. I'm not sure about the green. I think because you can still see the white behind it, it looks like there's yellow in it. So that's the reason why I don't like it. And plus the yellow here probably kind of brings out the yellow but in the green, but I said that already. I'm going to let it cure and come back in about 35 minutes. It looks like I'm going to be done tonight. That means that tomorrow I can do the trim. I like this. When there's less green here and a lot of yellow, I do like that better. I'm not sure that this area right here, let me look at it from, we're going to look at it from the entrance. So close the door, open the door, staircase. That's what it looks like. So you see mostly green which makes it look dark. So, plus I'm gonna have curtains. Remember I get the curtains with the red stripes? So uh, I think the solution here, because I didn't think it was gonna look that dark, but then again, it's six o'clock in the afternoon. Definitely have to change this light, which I said I was gonna do. So if I had a light that was going, looking down instead of looking up, it would probably brighten up this area and look much better. And then you can always put frame well, you, I can always put frames, you know, like some artwork here. And by the way, that corner right here, four coats. Look at this. I can't get this painted. It's gone on this side, but right here, I don't know what is on that wall. I just can't get rid of that beige. So I don't know, four coats so far for that particular corner right here um we'll see maybe tomorrow once everything is dry i can go with a tiny little brush which i usually do anyway when i have like areas that need let me show you for instance hold on see i messed up right here i went over i should have taped that and i didn't so for things like this i take a very tiny little brush with the yellow and i just go over and cover it so yeah um it's dark but it definitely does look better it gives it more of a uh, kind of a fresh look it looks new actually um i can't wait to see it with the uh, the banana cream right here instead of this dirty off-white it's really gonna make it pop all right i'm gonna take a break so instead of doing the wet sanding it looks like i'm gonna be able to sand a little bit so i have a sanding block and let me see what it looks like when I sand it a little bit. Pretty much does the same thing. It spreads it. I'm sorry for the noise. Yeah, it works just the same when it's still a little bit wet. nice okay that's done it still has to uh, dry before I paint it I'm probably gonna do this wall right here tomorrow okay it's 8 15 in the evening I'm trying to finish and I did well except for like one more coat on the little side right here I'm gonna show you in a second uh, I just can't see what I'm doing anymore because it's dark outside and um, yeah so I gotta stop and go back tomorrow so tomorrow I'll finish the green part that I have to do and then I'll do the trim but right now what I want to show you is the part that I plastered and painted maybe you can see it if it's too dark and you can't see don't worry about it because I'm going to show it to you again when I come back tomorrow so first of all I want to show you the color difference with this light and I don't know if you can really tell it is a bit dark but it's kind of homey and I like it much better than 
two hours ago. So that's the wall. You remember the one that I had to patch? And this is the corner right here that needed to be patched. So don't worry about the white right here because it's a little bit of plaster I'm gonna remove. And this here, this part right here is uh, the riser is gonna be white anyway. But it looks finished. I did a nice angle right there. I have to sand again a little bit here, but basically, yeah, I repaired the wall right here. So what I'm gonna do is go back and I cleaned up a little bit so you don't see my mess, except for over here. And this is pretty much what it looks like. So, uh, the yellow part, let me move the laundry basket out of the way. All right, so I have the balcony right here. Remember the balcony? Right here. And then when you come down, it turns to green, right? So that there's a continuation here and here. I was debating that with my husband and he wanted to have the green here. I Personally, I would have preferred to have the yellow, but it makes a nice transition and I did it pretty straight. I can't complain. And there's going to be shelves here anyway. And you can definitely see the new board right there. And that's going to be stained again. Um, pretty much, yeah, this is what it looks like. And I'm like it. I have to change the light, right? Let me show it to you from the other side. And again, this is very dark, right? So I'll show it to you again in the daylight, but just for atmosphere purposes, this is what it looks like in the evening. All right? So I'll come back tomorrow and we'll do the trim. I see you in a minute.